been your mentors in your career? When you think about mentors, I like the word as it's used in, in, the, in the world today, but if we look at our career seriously, our life seriously, it's hard to differentiate life and career, I'm not sure we think in terms of, of mentors, of like this person mentored me, you know, did mm -hmm. this for me and did this for me. I think in terms of sparks, I mean, sort of people that along the way have, were there, given you a little light, a little direction, so you could sort of, I mean, how many times did you really have in your life if someone calls in, okay, son, let me tell you how to do this. You know what I mean? Maybe it doesn't happen foot, anymore, does maybe it? Maybe like a football, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, but I don't know what happened. I don't to disparage you, but no one ever sat me down and said, but along the way, people have been kind to me uh, and have taken time to do that. So I, I think of a couple of people, you know, the, the often is you're expecting, here he goes, he's going to talk about his father. Well, yeah, I mean, I certainly love my father was a, a welder in New York. And I used to go out with him doing welding at night when I went to college. And, uh, and he came to this country. And I think that um, the degree that uh, he came to this country in Medic's way and the you know, first generation high school graduate and whatever, and to the degree that he made it and made that possible. And we always talk about these things, but it's true. You know, people mm -hmm. make like a cliche. Uh, because I wasn't the most brilliant of high school students, so I spent my time, I know it doesn't look it, but I actually did spend my time doing sports, and my coach at that time, I, I was, I wound up being the, uh, you know, the water boy, I was quite the star, but the idea, and finally I think of one guy in graduate school that um, was remarkably kind to me, you know, we had nothing in common, really? and he came from Mississippi, I came from Brooklyn, but we met in this common space, but so I think along the way, uh, of friends that I write with, People that are there just to sort of light your way once in a while. Now, are they mentors? Uh, no, but they're people that are, uh, you relate to from an internal place and you carry them all the time. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of them, a friend of mine that I write with. And so I think that uh, I've had quite a few. So um, uh, maybe it's not a classic mentor. So you recommend that people be open to unexpected mentoring in a sense. I, I recommend that you, first of all, I believe in mentoring in organizations. I think you should find yourself a mentor, someone that asks yourself, asks you, gives you the rope. If you're a young person coming into an organization, into a law firm, into a major corporation, into a school as a teacher, find someone to reach, or even if you're going to a university as a student. Mm. I always tell students, you know, you're gonna to go to a top level university, find a person to mentor you, to, to have a relationship, to give you share skills, etc. Mm. But in life, I think sometimes we fall upon our mentors in much less strategic or tactical. We fall on them. And you say to someone, um, you go to, and you suddenly have a conversation. Sometimes a mentoring experience can take just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. It's a role play. Yeah. So, so I think it's in different settings. So I, think, so I think you have to be, but in an organization, yeah, I encourage people to do that.